Hello and welcome to Vegan Cafe 21. Today we are making a very quick and easy simple dessert almond coconut fudge or almond coconut burfi. So let's get started. To make almond coconut fudge we will use two cups of blanched almond flour, one cup of shredded unsweetened coconut, one cup of sugar to make our simple syrup, and for making syrup, we will use half a cup of water. This syrup is going to be of one thread consistency. I'll show you when we get to it. To flavor our fudge, we will use about a quarter teaspoon of cardamom powder. This is green cardamom seed powder. You can use a little more or a little less of it, depending on how much you love cardamom. One teaspoon of rose water one tablespoon of coconut oil. And over on the stove top, I have a pan that I've already started heating. And we also have a parchment paper lined tray that I have already greased with coconut oil. So it's really simple. In this pan, I'm gonna add our sugar. And to it, we'll add our half a cup of water. Let it come to a boil, give it a stir. You can increase your heat so it comes to a boil quickly. You wanna make sure our sugar melts nicely. Now after your sugar melts and the syrup comes to a boil, it's going to take you anywhere from two to three minutes for it to reach the right consistency, depending on how high your heat is under it. So once it starts boiling, I'll bring my flame down, but continue maintaining a boil. Okay, now to check if our syrup is done, you can either do this kind of test where you kind of let the drop fall into the pan and see if there's a string sort of following the drop. So we're almost there, but not quite. So we'll give it another 30 seconds or so. Let's see if we're there yet. Yes. One of the ways to check is you drop some syrup into a plate or a cup and using your index finger and your thumb, you kind of try to pull it away. Do you see that? So that's how far we want to take our syrup. Now that our syrup is ready, we will Add our cardamom seed powder to it and our coconut oil. Give it a mix. I have turned my heat down at this point. Now to the syrup we bring our almond flour and coconut. And it's that simple. We are now going to continue stirring and mixing it in our syrup. My flame is between medium and low, more towards low. So keep mixing it and moving it. It goes really quickly from here. It becomes a very soft, pliable dough. Now to it, I'm gonna add our rose water. Keep holding it over. Sort of a gentle way of kneading the dough. And now we can turn our heat off. Okay, nicely done. And now we bring this over to our parchment lined baking tray. And just simply spread it into a nice even layer. We're gonna to try to get it into a rectangle shape so when we cut, 
our pieces come out with nice square edges. You can adjust the thickness, so just smooth it out as best as you can. All right, now that we have a smooth surface, we can start garnishing it. You can use pistachios or sliced almonds or both. So here I have one tablespoon of pistachios and I'm going to spread on top. And over the half, I'm going to do almonds. So you want to just press them in while the mixture is still soft. You can use your spatula to do this or your fingers because by now it has cooled considerably. There, all done. Now we're going to let it come to room temperature before we cut into it. And then we are going to place it in the refrigerator for about an hour or so for it to firm up. Okay, so it's been about an hour. So let's go ahead and cut our fudge into pieces. I have greased my knife with coconut oil. So now we're just going to cut it into desired size pieces. And done. All right, let me remove a piece and show you how it turned out. Do you see this? Let's remove another one. Very nice, soft, and delicately sweet. So I'm going to remove these and plate them, ready to be served. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. This is a really simple, delicately sweet, easy to make dessert any day of the year. Please do give it a try. Let me know how it turns out and I'll see you again soon with more vegan favorites.